arteries and veins. The human body contains many organs, tissues, and cells which require oxygen and other nutrients. These elements are needed for the blood to function properly, but how does the blood get to the organs? The circulatory system, cardiovascular system, is responsible for the circulation of blood in the body. The major constituents are the heart, the lungs, and blood vessels. Today we are going to be looking the two major types of blood vessels, arteries and veins but before that, let's take a quick look at the heart. The heart pumps oxygenated blood to the body, systemic circulation, and deoxygenated blood to the lungs, pulmonary circulation, there is one atrium and one ventricle for each circulation making the heart have a total of four chambers, two atriums, one on each side, and two ventricles, one on each side. Arteries Arteries are blood vessels that primary carry bloods away from the heart. Most arteries carry oxygenated blood from the heart's left ventricle to organs and tissues and are known as systemic arteries. The other two systems of arteries are pulmonary arteries which transport blood with low oxygen content to the lungs in order to be oxygenated and umbilical arteries which is found in fetuses and also transports oxygen poor blood but the placenta instead of the lungs. Types of arteries There are three main types of arteries, they are 1. Elastic arteries they are generally the largest arteries and the closest to the heart, their large elastin filament and collagen content gives them the ability to stretch and contract thereby playing a role in the regulation of blood pressure. 2. Muscular arteries, they are medium sized arteries that branch out from elastic arteries and then further branch out into smaller arteries and arterioles. 3. Arterioles, they are the smallest arteries that transport oxygenated blood. They branch out into capillaries which form part of the microcirculation system. Veins Unlike arteries veins carry blood towards the heart for oxygenation. Veins also consist of some major systems which are 1. Systemic veins, they return deoxygenated blood to the right heart's atrium for oxygenation. 2. Pulmonary veins, they return blood which has been oxygenated in the lungs to the heart's left atrium. Some other vein classifications are 1. Deep veins, these carry most of the blood and deep within the body usually beside a corresponding artery. 2. Superficial veins, unlike deep veins they are close to the surface of the skin and have no corresponding artery. They are generally not as important as deep veins and transports less blood and they also play some roles in cooling the body. 3. Communicating veins, they serve as connectors between deep veins and superficial veins. Differences between arteries and veins Arteries and veins differ in numerous ways, here are some of those differences. Arteries carry blood away from the heart while veins carry blood towards it. Arteries are generally located deeper within the body while veins are usually closer to the skin. Blood is moved in arteries by the heart's pumping action and therefore arteries are more pressurized compared to veins which transport blood by capillary action. Arteries don't have valves while veins do. Arteries are reddish in color while veins are bluish in color. Arteries carry a lower blood volume than veins. Arteries are more flexible than veins and artery walls are also stronger than that of veins. Artery pathways are much more distinguishable than that of veins because of the large number of interconnections in vein pathways. Arteries are not susceptible to collapsing if blood flow stops while veins are. This is due to the presence of a thick muscular layer in arteries. Artery diseases include angina pectoris atherosclerosis while vein diseases include deep vein thrombosis, varicose veins etc. How to keep your arteries and veins healthy Having seen the important roles arteries and veins play in the circulatory system keeping them healthy would be a priority. 
Here are a few tips on keeping your arteries and veins healthy. 1. Eat lots of fruit and vegetables. Bioflavonoids are phytonutrients that give many fruits and veggies their bright and vivid colors generally, the brighter the food, the higher the bioflavonoid count. A type of bioflavonoid known as rutin has long been used to help circulation. Apples and citrus fruits are two wonderful choices that are both high in rutin. In addition, leafy greens play an important role in healthy circulation. They help form red blood cells, which circulate oxygen. Citrus fruits also contain ascorbic acid which prevents the formation of plaque on arterial walls which restricts blood flow. Greens including spinach are also good sources of omega-3 fatty acids, which also help build strong veins. They are also powerful antioxidants that can protect your body against damaging free radicals. Consuming a healthy amount of spices is also beneficial, a good example is turmeric which is used as an anti-inflammatory and can prevent arteries from hardening. 2. Drink lots of water, plasma, which makes up about half of our total blood volume, contains roughly 93% water. Aiming to drink at least 8 glasses of water a day ensures that your body doesn't have to work overtime to keep you in tip-top shape. 3. Exercise Finally, as important as it is to eat a healthy diet rich in fruits and veggies, it is equally vital to get proper exercise to promote blood flow that delivers oxygen and much needed nutrients to your heart and to your body. Simple exercises such as walking can also aid in preventing varicose veins and spider veins. Walking strengthens your calf pump, which in turn helps blood flow. Walking is an easy way to incorporate fitness into your life, and it is especially important if you work a desk job where you are sitting for much of the day. Take a stroll around the parking lot during lunch or walk to the park after work. These small steps will make a huge difference in building healthy arteries and veins.